Hi there. So for this video, we are going to use alcohol inks to make a cowhide print. I've used tons of water slides over the couple of years that I've been doing cups, but this will be kind of nice because it keeps you from having to do print, seal, all that good stuff. So I have a cup already glittered. I used white wedding from Friends. This was applied using epoxy method. Uh, the videos that I watched from Sandy's Organized Chaos, she used Mod Podge on hers, and that may give you a little bit different effect. We're about to find out. So this is brown from Hobby Lobby. And I'm also going to throw in a little bit of caramel, caramel, <laughs> tomato, tomato. So let's just see how this turns out. You literally just drop it onto the glitter and it does its thing. It spreads. This will take a lot of ink just like a wood grain does, but you have full control over how everything looks. You can make big spots, little spots, whatever, and it just kind of spreads like that, and it has kind of that feathery effect on the edges, just like real cowhide does. Cartoon cow print has the defined edges, but if you look close up on an actual piece of cowhide, or an actual cow, whichever, you can see that the edges are definitely not um, sharp. So I'm just going to do a little bit of this too to kind of change it up a little bit. I've had several cowhides that I've worked with, and they all have a little bit of variation in their coloring. So I'm just gonna kinda see if I can get a little bit of that effect with this. I'm not gonna go right over it, but I'm gonna go right up against it so that it kinda blends those colors just a little bit. And we're just gonna do that over the whole surface in the patches that we want. So just like that, I'm gonna leave that be. So I've got a little bit of variation right there in that coloring. Don't neglect your bottoms here. It's easy to forget that we've got to do something there. Ooh, <laughs> that one's spot. We'll put a spot there. Sometimes these bottles definitely get the flow going, whether you're ready or not. All over. Let's do it. Here is our final result. You can kind of see the slight color changes there. It's okay if there's little patches of white because that's actually a thing in actual cow print, cow hide. 
So it's really satisfying when you watch, when you drop it and then it just spreads. It's very satisfying. It's kind of like Plinko. There's no predicting where it's going to go. But you can do as little or as much as you want. You could do black. You can do all kinds of colors because there's all kinds of cow print, cow hide. I have this cup. It's sanded so you can't really see, but it's got different colors in it. It's got light brown, dark brown. The edges are feathered. Once I got Mod Podge on it, you could see the freckles underneath the hide. So your options are wide open. This was a long haired piece of hide, but I couldn't find my short haired piece. It's around here somewhere, but that still gets the gist of it. Cow hides come in all possibilities. So get creative, do what appeals to your eye. So I'm going to seal this. I'm going to give it time to dry and then I'm going to seal it with clear mat and epoxy it. I'm in love. It's probably how I'll do my cow prints from now on. <laughs> it's so easy. So here is the final result. It still needs one more coat of epoxy, but you get the idea. Um, I love how it has little patches of slight differences in color. I really like it. I did not mention at the beginning of this video, I had already made this cup to have another project in mind. So I had already epoxy method and glittered it epoxy method glittered it but what I didn't remember until kind of after I was kind of said and done with the beginning of this recording I had already sealed it with clear coat spray paint so I don't think that had any bearing in any of the result but I remembered it so I wanted to make sure and mention it but I really like it like right there I just love how that's just so different and it's okay that that has like the effect of a little bit of a bleed. It's okay because like I showed you with the other um, cowhide, that's normal. I love it. It's probably my new way of doing cowhides from now on. So in the past, my most popular cowhides have been cowhide here and then like an aqua glitter of some sort here but you could easily do your white glitter, do your inks, do your other glitter, just so it doesn't like bleed onto that, depending on what color you're using. You could really take this all kinds of directions. I kind of want to do like a gypper. <laughs> I can never say this word. <laughs> Gypsy leopard. I always want to say gypper lepsy. That's not a thing. I kind of want to do one with it kind of going like that, just to see how it turned out. That'd be pretty cool. So if you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave it in the comments. Uh, if you like my videos, please consider subscribing. And maybe even give a thumbs up on the videos that you watch. It'd be appreciated. It kind of helps the algorithm. And y'all have a good one.